What's up everybody, welcome to Wii U Tech. So like a lot of people now, I started Bitcoin mining a bit. I started with my EVGA GTX 1080 and after having some nice results, I decided to buy myself an additional card that I can use for dedicated mining. I bought myself a Powercolor R9280X and after a while it started to give me some thermal problems. On idle it was on 45 degrees at 20% fan speed but after using the mining program it shot up to 95 degrees on 100% fan speed which is way too hot. I tried to undervolt the card a bit to keep the temperatures down but it didn't want to so the only thing I could do was to add some new thermal paste and see if that would actually solve the issue. So this video is just going to be a quick guide of how to add new thermal paste to your GPU to stop overheating. And just keep in mind if your card is still under warranty this will void your warranty so please just keep that in mind okay so first off you're gonna have to remove the cooling plate from the chip board usually it's just about four screws you need to remove but some gpus do have more so just keep that in mind also don't forget the fan controller you don't want to rip that off now if your thermal paste looks like this all hard and dried out then this is the reason your GPU is overheating and you need to apply new thermal paste. Removing the thermal paste is best to use something like 99% acepropyl alcohol but in my case I didn't have it and I just ended up using some toilet paper and that worked fine for me. Just be careful not to put too much pressure on the board when cleaning. After all that is done, just make sure the rest of your GPU is nice and clean and then you can apply some new thermal paste. The thermal paste I'm using is the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut paste which is available at Rebel Tech, which will also be linked in the description. When applying new thermal paste, you only need a pea size amount. Too much could cause poor contact between the cooler and the GPU. Moreover, you don't really have to worry about a bit of thermal paste squeezing out and landing next to the chip. It won't really do anything, but try to keep it nice and neat. And the next up, you can just put back the cooling fans. Just make sure they align properly before screwing everything back. And remember to connect the fans back, otherwise you really will end up damaging your GPU. And then in the end, the thermal paste really did make a big difference. When mining, the GPU only reached 82 degrees on 70% fan speed. And when I took this PC to another room with a bit better airflow, it went down to 73 degrees at 65% fan speed. But then just some stuff you can keep in mind to prevent overheating, you can also look at the room. So if your room is really hot, of course the GPU is also going to be hot. Also the GPU positioning. So if you apply another GPU below your, your current GPU, it is going to overheat because it can't get enough airflow. And then also you can look at some fans, so you can position other case fans to blow onto the GPU and that should also help a bit. Also overclocking of course will heat up your GPU, so if that's the case then don't overclock. You can rather try underclocking the GPU a bit, you are going to lose some performance then, but at least your GPU is not going to overheat that much. Also then lastly just make sure that your PC isn't in a tight space. So tight spaces of course will also prevent airflow from reaching your case and that will make your GPU and your entire system get hotter. You can even try just removing the side panel that should also help out a lot. And that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. Also, I'm going to start putting up new videos on my second channel, We Do Stuff. Um, so it's more going to be like vlogs and actually just videos to let you guys know what's going on with We Do Tech. So for example, what's going on with the Ryzen build. So if you want to know more, please go check out my We Do Tech, We Do Stuff uh, YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go and check out. But anyway, that's kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll check you guys next time. Cheers guys.